What's up guys? It's Kelly and today I have a highly anticipated swatch and review for you. You guys have been begging me non-stop for the last several days to review this collection and I finally have it and that is the Hollow Taco Hollow Days Collection. For those of you guys who haven't heard of Hollow Taco before, I do have a review of their initial release but this is the holographic nail polish brand that was created by Christine of Simply Nail Logical. These polishes are vegan, they are cruelty free, and they are packed with a ton of holographic sparkle. So today's video is going to be centered on their newest holiday release which is called the Hollow Day Collection and we've got five really beautiful full coverage scattered holographic nail polishes. I also wanted to test out the Peely Base as well as the Glossy Taco that they have as well. So I'm going to be showing you guys all of that and then I'm going to tell you all about the pricing, my thoughts on the collection, all that stuff at the end of the video. Just a quick note, I did film these in direct lighting so you guys could see some of that hollow sparkle but obviously it is best to see in sunlight, direct sunlight sunlight is the best way to show off that hollow sparkle and I film these videos at night so unfortunately I don't have access to sunlight. I tried to film it with my flashlight on my phone but it just doesn't really work on my camera so I'm trying my best for you guys. Hopefully you guys can see it, that beautiful hollow sparkle in all of these polishes. So let's just get started. So as always I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches to protect my natural nail. Today I am using the Hollow Taco Peely Base which is a peel off base coat so very convenient if you're doing glitter glitter nails, but I did peel all of these off. I'll show you at the end of the video. So first up in this collection, we have the shade Play Rosé, which is a really beautiful rose gold full coverage scattered holographic nail polish. So this color is actually a bunch of gold and silver holographic glitters that are in a rose gold jelly base. So this one is actually recommended three coats for full coverage, but because my nails are so short, I could actually get away with doing two coats for full coverage. However, with jelly nail polishes like this that do have glitters in them. I do love throwing on an extra coat just because I like to get that extra depth and cover some of those glitters with that jelly base to sort of make that color come through on the glitter and I think it looks really gorgeous. So this is three coats for full coverage and you can clearly see that this is a super sparkly holographic color. It is perfect for honestly any time of year but it feels very festive and fun. So as you can see once it dries down it does become slightly textured. I am showing you guys all of these swatches before and after I use a coat of Glossy Taco, which is the recommended top coat for using with these polishes. Christine actually said in her video that it is recommended to do two coats, one coat just to let it set the manicure and soak in, and then one more coat to get that nice gel-like finish, so keep that in mind. Next up we have the shade Party Punch, which is a super hot pink, almost red, full coverage scattered holographic nail polish, and this one is actually really intense. In addition, to having those sparkly hollow glitters in it. They also have some hot pink hollow glitters in there as well. So it's super bright. It almost hurts the eyes to look at, but it's very gorgeous. On the first coat, it did look very pink on my nails, but once I threw on the second coat, I was able to get a little bit of that reddish pink vibe. This one is recommended full coverage in two coats, and I thought that was perfect coverage for my short nails. But you can see another just really sparkly, super fun color, and this one would definitely be more sparkly in direct sunlight, but this is how it looks under direct lighting. So you can see once it is fully dry, it does have a slight bit of texture to it. So all you have to do is throw on two coats of the Glossy Taco to get a nice smooth even finish. If you want, some of these would look good as a textured polish, but this one in particular I think looks better with the Glossy Taco. Next up we have the shade Midnight Spark, which is a really beautiful royal blue full coverage scattered holographic nail polish. And this one I was really excited excited about, mostly because Christine said in her video that it is another galaxy in a bottle type of polish. You guys know how much I love galaxies, but this one is just another really beautiful shade. I love that rich blue. It's similar to the Royal Tea Blue, but this one obviously has that holographic sparkle in it already, and I was able to get full coverage in two coats as recommended. Just a side note, with this polish being very dark, it almost looks on the left side of my nail that I did not get that part on the tip, but don't worry, that's just because my light is set right there so you can't really tell but I was able to get full coverage. I covered the whole nail and it was a super beautiful color. I think this would be perfect for winter nail art or perfect for Hanukkah. So as you can see again it does dry to a slightly textured finish but a couple of quick coats of the glossy taco will remedy that and make it super sparkly once more.
Next up we have the shade Frostlight, which is a really beautiful icy blue full coverage scattered holographic nail polish. And this one was very beautiful but very sheer, so just keep that in mind. This is another one that is recommended to do three coats for full coverage, and this one I did actually need to do three coats for full coverage. On the first layer it is super sheer and light, although that does make a really nice wash of color if that's the type of thing you're into. And you guys know I've been really into jellies lately, so I kind of love that like visible nail line sheer color wash, but yeah. Once you go on to the second coat, you're able to get a little bit more coverage, and then you get full coverage in that third coat. So this one does have silver holographic glitters in that light blue jelly base, but like I said before, the more coats you do, the more you're kind of transforming those silver glitters into something that is more icy blue, and it kind of transforms the nail, and I think it looks so cool. This is another one that was just super sparkly. This one I actually think was probably the most textured out of the bunch so you can see what it looks like once it is dry but again just throw on a couple of coats of the glossy taco and then you've got a nice smooth completed manicure and last but not least we have the shade rainbow snow which is a classic color this is a full coverage scattered holographic silver nail polish and this one is actually in a clear base just to show all of that silver holographic glitter coming through and this one I think you could actually get away with using this as a topper if you just do one coat over another color but this one is recommended to do three coats for full coverage you don't need to sponge this or any of the other colors in the collection on but you can if you want to get a little bit more of that holographic sparkle coming through but I think these are totally fine to just apply normally and they look super cool. This one again I think I could have gotten away with doing just two coats for full coverage but I did end up throwing on a third and I love how sparkly and blingy it is. This would make a perfect accent nail or perfect full manicure if you want to go crazy and be super sparkly for the holidays or for the new year or for really any time of year. And once again this one just dries to a slightly textured finish but this one and Frostlight I think are actually Actually fine with that slight texture. I don't mind having a textured nail polish even though it's not intentional. I still think it feels and looks pretty cool but you can just throw on a couple coats of top coat and then it'll smooth it out for you. So overall loving this collection. Everything is so sparkly and beautiful and I think it's very festive for the holidays but these are also colors that you can really wear any time of year so I love that they didn't just stick with like the classic red, green, gold type of polishes. We have some really nice overall colors that you can wear anytime. I do also love the little special edition box that the whole set comes in. If you guys wanna get the full box with all the polishes in it, it is $65 USD. You could also buy the polishes individually. They are $13 USD on the website. We also have the base and top coats. So I use the Peely base coat like I mentioned to you guys. I didn't let the polishes totally dry because I was just watching them and it was also really late and I had to go to sleep so didn't want to wait for those to fully dry but I do want to test out that Peely base coat a little bit more and see how it works and how long it lasts. If you guys are interested in a wear test let me know. So that and all of the top coats and base coats on the website retail for $11 USD. So like I said these polishes do dry down to a textured finish because they are so glitter heavy so it is recommended that you use two coats of glossy taco on top of them just to get that nice smooth even layer on your nails and to complete the manicure. They do have a glossy taco and then they have a super glossy taco. I was using the regular glossy taco in this video. I haven't tried the super glossy taco, but I would love to do a little comparison and see what the difference is and see if one is better than the other. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely let me know in the comments. But yeah, overall, totally loving this collection. It's so awesome. Huge congratulations to Christine. You did an amazing job on these polishes and they look so beautiful. And also, thank you so much for sending them to me. I feel very special. <laughs> But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Give it a thumbs up if you like my swatch and review videos. Let me know in the comments below if you've picked any of these up, if you're planning on them, what you think of these polishes, which one's your favorite. Tell me all of that in the comments. I answer every single one. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do tons of nail polish reviews like this. I do nail art videos. I do occasional makeup videos. And you know, we just have a lot of fun here. So just click that subscribe button because it's fine. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, fun fact, and this is the reason why my nails aren't painted, which feels so weird to do in a review, but I just, I, I'm very excited because I am going to see Frozen 2 tonight, and I wanted to do some like crazy Frozen nail art, so I wanted to get this video up first before I spend hours just 
agonizing over what type of nail art to do. So that is why my nails aren't painted, but I'm very excited to see Frozen 2. I'm a huge fan of the original Frozen movie. I feel like that is one of the movies that just makes me cry every single time I watch it. I don't know why. Just Do You Want to Build a Snowman? The sad part of that song, no spoilers. I don't know if anybody's not seen it yet, but the sad part of that song literally makes me just start crying every single time I watch it. So it's a really great movie and I'm, I'm anticipating crying in the theaters tonight. I'll tell you guys all about it though. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello, guys. If you've made it to the end of this video, then congratulations. You are officially cool. I am showing you guys how these polishes peel. But like I said, I did not let these fully set, even though they were dry. Sometimes you need to give polishes like 12 hours just to completely harden on your nails. And I did not do that. So if you do that, you will get a nicer, more classic peel. Like you can see on Christine's announcement video of these polishes, but I just wanted to show you guys anyway a little bit of that peeling action. I did give these about 20 minutes each to dry and they did dry fully to the touch so you don't have to worry about that but the peel was pretty nice. I am gonna try doing this as a wear test and see how long it lasts without peeling on my nails so if you guys are interested in that let me know. But yeah I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!